of on to Kid X and showed themselves in the middle lane, allowing Falcon Esports to actually take the priority off of the Lord. But we are expecting a four versus four, four versus five fight as Royal Mac immediately jumped right in with the Earth Shadow, followed by a flicker as the Lord, as the turtle will be taken by the hands of Boba Zane. They have came here for what they wanted, and Kid X is going to be falling down as the first blood. Falcon Esports, they are losing three men right off the bat. Cloud9 looks at this game smiling. Yeah, this is the worst possible opening edition Valentina skins, which I absolutely adore. Uh, but you look at this fight, I feel like Cloud9, they want more. Yep, as Dex was hoping that he'll be able to run away, but unfortunately, the final slash is just going to be connecting on Dex. But immediately after that, the Prazor's Wrath connects. He gets his oh, energy no. back a little bit, but it's not going to help too much. As Cloud9, with the Guiding Wind, Cole will manage to bring Mobazane right out of the team fight, and they're going to be pretty much safe and sound with only a one-for-one -one trade. Second turtle is up. As we have the turtle currently going down, Dax is going to be the one that claims the credit for that. And for now, Vulcan Esports, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be responding in kind as they felt just going to be focusing down on the Marcuti, but Moba Zane oh, goes no. right in with a quick little ultimate. Unfortunately, Dax is going to be caught up in the middle of all of that. As thus, he's going to go down together with Kid X and Cloud9 secures two kill and a free orange buff. Grab. And only at the final seconds, he tried to put it out, but a bit, a little bit too late. Yeah, they want to fight in the jungle again. Yep, it doesn't seem like things are going to be looking very well for Falcon Esports as the Denon as well. I'm just going to be connected down onto Dex, dying down once again, fourth time in a row. We did have the final slash that did connect onto Mova Zane though, but it's not going to be that big of a difference. I don't think there's enough damage on Falcons. In fact, Mova Zane, if he wants to turn, he can. Ouch. Even use a conceal. Unfortunately, Kid X gets swiped to the grave. Cloud9 pumping up the tempo. This is Falcon's Esports worst it nightmare. It doesn't seem like things are going to be great at all. Cloud9 with currently oh, currently with eight kills and Falcon Esports with only one. And they're now even going to be focusing down the bottom lane. But Benny oh! turned things around a tad little bit. He did manage to bring the Mathilda down. But unfortunately, the main guy, Basic, is still alive. Now purchased by PX7. That's going to severely impede. Cold World's effectiveness with the Matilda. We'll see if this Lord fight is going to turn out yep, in their way. With the Lord currently being pulled down. Falcon Esports itself as Cloud9 understands that it is very scary. This Lord is very daunting. And holding on to the Lord for extended period of time is not going to be good as the final slash is just going to be connecting down on the two. He wants to get himself in the heart of the battle as now they're just going to be focusing on the Kid X. He went in a little bit too deep and unfortunately Falcon Esports wasn't able to help him too much. With Royal Milk coming in on the second part of the fight, he's going to be whittled down to an all-time low too. And Cloud9 succeeded in this fight against Falcon Esports without losing a single one. I don't think Falcons can even attempt to steal this Dax. He might just have to give himself oh, away. He might even I'm go down. I'm surprised that they even tried to, uh, try, try to challenge for this. As the rest of Cloud9 focuses onto Dax, brings him down immediately while Moba Zane stayed behind to bring the Lord down. Side lanes in favor of Falcons, especially top part. Fcon has set up the top lane. So this is definitely a, a Lord that they can try and juggle, but Cloud9, they have a lot of damage to run through it if they want to. We'll see if Fcon can manage to find the cash. Royal Milk and Kid X on different sides of the pit. They're still trying to contest for this. Falcon Esports, they are going and raring to go. As the Dano as well, I'm just going to be connecting down on the Fredrick. Now Dax still manages to take the Lord for himself. Cloud9 now is just going to be going on for an aggressive front. They want to bring Dax down as much as possible, but he just immediately jumps himself forward, but wasn't able to do very much. Benny. As Benny, he brings himself and jumps back, and he's going to be safe and sound now. Royal Milk and Dax may have went down, but they have the Lord by this Moskov, so he's basically decked out. Even went for extra attack speed on the boot, on the boot. so Benny is all about damage. Royal Milk out of position. And does seem like he's not gonna be uh, caught out just yet. And such, Circling Eagle is gonna be taken away. Cloud9 probably don't have a lot of utility or any skills to really catch up to Benny, which might actually be one of the main problems that Cloud9 might experience in the later parts of the team fight. The Kid X did manage to connect onto the final slash, but it's pretty much just gonna be a little bit of harassment as Benny focuses himself onto Cowal. Exactly oh what goodness. I'm talking about. No one is there to really deal with Benny as such. He's just gonna be jumping in and he's gonna be focusing on the Mobas in next. Mobas Zane immediately uh, goes right in with his ultimate and tries Yo, to Benny! go for a kill, but unfortunately, he's gonna be taken down. Benny picks up a double, while well, basically just gonna be continuing on to Benny! go on for a bad rampage. But now Benny is focusing on to kills after kills after kills, picking himself with a triple. He might want to go for Milo, but he flickers himself away. He just won! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Hoping to do something to Benny, he wasn't able to at all. Places him 
So that is something that basically also needs to take into account for next Lord spawning on the top side. Even though we have the inhibitor turret at the top and the middle lane taken down from the side of Cloud9, this doesn't immediately say that Falcon. Uh, this doesn't immediately say that Cloud9 is out of the game just yet. In the meantime, Denonas, welcome, connecting down on to on to Royal Milk. He's still gonna be alive though. He does that immortality, flickers himself right out of Ooh. that, and all all things said and done, Falcon Esports didn't lose anyone but immortality. Both XP laners lost their immortality, but Falcon's Eforce gains priority off the Lord pick because Top Wave was pushing in. So basically, needs to do with that. But Lord is pretty strong. Falcon's Eforce is gonna bum rush through it, not a problem. You may have a lot of problems essentially dealing with that. As such, the Lord marches in, ready to pillage everything that Cloud9 holds dear. The Deadlands Welcome still gonna be connecting it. Slams Kidex into PX9, a PX7, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna do much as Falcon Eforce focuses onto the throne and the core gets destroyed. Falcon Esports takes game number one away from Cloud9. Yeah, Crystal shattered Falcon's Esports. Dax himself is single-handedly taking out space in, in this bush. It's not the easiest for Cloud9 to walk up forward, though Mobile Zane has the experience advantage. So if he drags this long enough, he's going to be at level 5, and that's going to give him the edge in securing this turtle fight. Both teams, they won that level 4 on that mid and XP lane. I feel that Cloud9's lineup right now have pretty much the same kind of problems in the previous game, right? When it comes down to uh, jumping over to the back lines of Falcon. Can they even catch anyone at this point? But for now, that is welcome from, from, from Milo, connected down onto, uh, onto Royal Milk. And unfortunately for them, Royal Milk finds himself taken down. Dax is going to be the next one onto the chopping block, while Cloud9 does the same thing as game number 1. Bring good amount of people down while taking the turtle. Very well executed by Cloud9. Falcon sees Sports Ooh. again. Tunnel visioning and Spear of Destruction connects from basic as a free kill delivered to the Moscow. Best case scenario for Cloud9. Just like game one. Ladies themselves for the turtle, albeit with Cold World having only half HP, he should still be dominating enough to eventually jump right in if he really needs to. Yeah, this Grok is a big problem. It's the wall, it's the crowd control. I'm offended, the connected Zane. down on the mobile Zane, brings him down pre uh, almost immediately. Dax takes the turtle and managing to contest for that. Kowal immediately flickers himself out of the way and he's gonna be safe and self for now, or maybe not, as PX7 wow. unleashes death coming in with the oh my goodness. air strike. Base is gonna be the next one on the chopping block as well, as Dax brings him down preemptively too. What a turnaround for Falcons. Completely negated the lead the Cloud9 got after the first turtle, and Dax, he wants lead more. Lead means nothing to the eyes of Falcon Esports. In the meantime, the Spear of Destruction is just going to be connecting down to Kid X, while the basic is just going to be focusing himself on Dax, but somehow Dax is going to be running away just fine. Hey. But Benny, he actually went in for the Unoffended, which actually pulled the enemy closer to make Dax die. So unfortunately now, Benny is went against the world. Cloud9 managed to clap back in that small, tiny, little problem of Falcon Esports on some kills and basic was able to find another one with the spirit of destruction something that fcon gotta pay a bit of attention to keep it under yep. 3k i mean immaculate position coming in from px7 thus far throughout the entirety of that fight but for now it does seem like cloud9 is just gonna be focusing on royal milk again but moba zane got pulled in but i'm i'm offended and the aggressors in turn has been taken down instead moba zane now suffers a 20 seconds death timer onto themselves and falcon esports focuses themselves in the middle lane wanting to bring down this first defense turret in the middle lane but mark ut is gonna say no as much as possible trying to wither down all that ballista as fast as possible of uh, pick off, uh, pick off comp because Cloud9 they, they're just focusing on that time and time again and just not working. But we'll get back to that in a short bit as Basic just went in ham against PX7. I was about to get to that as well, right? Having a Moscow gives you global sort of global presence. Bit push is very strong and. With PX7 down, Cloud9 would definitely get this floor. I don't see how Falcons can contest this. They don't have a floor it out. But at the same time, Cloud9's draft has a lot more power control compared to Game One. Seems like Falcons, they still want to fight? Does seem so. Milo flickers himself out, but in the penalty zone he did manage to connect a little bit on Cold but he's not going to be caring about anything because he does have the power of nature. He's going to be fine for now. Royal Milk is going to be the first one onto the chopping block, and Cloud9 understands that he wants to tie things up. The Lord, uh, the, the Lord is going to be marching in the bottom lane, but Cloud9, they want to merge the lanes. They want to ensure that the inhibitor turret in the middle lane will be destroyed. As such, PX7 focuses onto the Feathered Airstrike. He clears out the wave as much as possible and manages to defend. The rest of Falcon Esports now focuses on the top lane, but Cloud9, they want to get a little bit more. The Terizla just going to be jumping in, but it doesn't seem like they will be able oh, to do no. too much from here at this point on. Moba Zane is going to be the one that goes down second, but perhaps we'll get a third one as Falcon Esports, they're not going to be stopping 
just yet. The grass be low down. Oh, and now I'm... another one when it comes oh. down to it. I'm offended. We'll be able to connect the other basic on Mark Cutie. Basically was hoping that he'll be able to turn things around, but Mark Cutie, he completely ditches uh, him and goes back home. But yeah, pretty much the replay gave us a very good idea of how the previous fight went through. But now we're going to be looking at the next one as Royal Milk just going to be jumping in for the second hit onto the opponents. And he did manage to go put out a pretty good penalty zone. But while Zane is going to be the first one taken down of Falcon Esports, who's just going to be marching in in the middle lane. Cloud9 completely spread out. No one can see where exactly base is. He's going to be fine and dandy for now, but I don't think anyone wants to fight back again. Falcon is going to try to rush down the Lord as much as possible and Cold War sees this. I think Benny just got oh. caught, so... Yep, go down. Quick little terrifying. Mark Cutie brings him down. The Lord, 75 HP. Dax still managed to get it in his pocket in the end of the day. But they want more. They want blood. And they're spotted as Mark Cutie is just going to be going for the IMU, taking away the ultimate of Dax. He's just going to be focusing down on him as much as possible. Then another nice welcome just going to be connected. But in the meantime, the front lines, we do have Cold World as well as Basic. They're focusing on the Royal Milk, but Basic HP is not looking good. He immediately jumped himself backwards, and he's going to be fine for now. The penalty Wait. zone connects, on. he's just going to be stuck in there. And he's probably going to go down, and the Immortality pop. Cloud9, they're marching in. They will be able Wait, to sick. take this call down if Royal Milk is Wait, not going to clear the thing down. But where's the damage? They are able to clear the call no down. Damage. All alone to try to bring this call down. Cloud9 tried to end this fast and unfortunately oh, Cloud9 basically win mm -hmm. the game over Falcons Esports after so long and Falcons they know that they have to contest this if they don't contest for this it is probably going to be game over but Falcon they're testing the opponents they're waiting for the perfect opportunity but the quick little reset from Cloud9 even Cloud9 themselves understand what kind of threat that they're looking out for this game could quite yeah. literally go to anyone here and, f and ben Benny knows this why, which is why he's waiting to see where Basic is. But Basic has used his ultimate. This is the chance, Falcons. Let's see if they can make this happen. As Royal Milk takes his first stand in the front lines. He's gonna be holding on to the Lord for a tad little bit. But that's the flicker as well. That as well oh. coming in from Milo. Just gonna be connecting down. But no! Oh, the hills coming in from Kidax ensures that Dax will be able to stay alive for a little while longer. But in fact, doesn't seem like they will be able to do too Wait, much. Wait, Basic, Basic! And now, it's just gonna be Mark Cutie just gonna be holding on to the back. But Basic, he's just gonna be jumping over to the back lines and focusing down onto the car as much as possible. They push in. It's all left with Kidax. Royal Milk and Benny is nowhere to be seen. Never mind. Royal Milk is now it's here is it really even gonna be enough basic is just dealing immaculate damage over to kidax they want to end this oh, the enough, but basic is just gonna be jumping Wait. around with a split slip of health both them they're gonna be fine though all of these lanes just gonna be pushing right in if, even with the lord cloud nine have got nothing that could help bolster the damage of this lord to help them to even end this game the split push is tried and unfortunately wasn't done right at least Basic got the last inhibitor down, but with Dex back in the game, Basic no help. They cannot end the game just yet. But 20 minutes onwards, trying to clear all of these mega creeps, I think that is definitely going to be bottom. tough. They want Dex bottom side. Doesn't seem like... Dex gets oh! away. Hey, they still want him. A flicker coming in from Cold World with the WoW charge, but it doesn't seem like they will be able to isolate anyone at all. As such, Falcon Esports, all four men, is just focusing down on him as much as possible, bringing the Grok down. Royal Wait. Milk, though, he puts himself at the top lane to give more information. But Cloud9, the main part of the game, the is down crowd. in the bottom lane, as Mark Cutie is going to be taken down now. The offenders are going to be connecting down on Basic as such. The Immortality is going to be taken down. Wait. And it's going to be him going down right now. Cloud9 did manage to bring the Lord down sure but we have a full four man from falcons that will be knocking onto the door of cloud nine dax gets the mid tier two and i mean falcons was able to buy so much time because royal milk sacrificed himself to stall out the lord take as much as possible they should have time to wither down the lord at least and give px7 space to clear out the side waves I don't think that they will be able to bring the game to the end at this point in time just yet. But it is all just pretty much going to be a wet noodle fight. As now Benny is just going Wait. to be going with the armor feather with quick, quick little flicker coming from Star Milo. He's going to be safe and sound for now. But Benny is just healing up so much. He's not going to die at all. As now Falcon is right, lost. They do have PX7 coming in now. The wall charge doesn't seem to be as Milo. He did go for the dead as well. Come did not miss anyone all. at all. Dax gets himself a mega kill. Brings Milo down. That is one of the tough front lines coming from Cloud9 that would really help them to defend this upcoming push from Falcons potentially this is what Lord number five 
Cloud9, Mobile Zane just came back to life. Can they make it there in time? I don't think it's possible. Falcon should have this in the Falcon back. Falcon playing from behind. Falcon Esports, they are well versed in play from behind and they are not afraid of anything at all. In the meantime, the trades between Ultimate, between Milo as well as Royal Milk is just going to be ensuing, but that is not going to be the catalyst of starting a new fight. So sustainable and we are amplifying that with Kidex with his ultimate and they're not afraid of anything but for now Grog comes in from behind Coldwell was hoping that he will be able to get a final uh, with the wild charge doing nicely but four what more the penalty penalty zone! Zone! coming in Royal Milk they clean things up and Cloud9 done it. they suffers another defeat to the heads of Falcon Esports and the Falcon soar above oh! Cloud9 into infinity and beyond. The sky is no longer the limits. Myanmar putting a mark on the MSC stage, completely shattering the hopes of North America. Can you believe it?